What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cam Dorian. This is the beautiful Pilot Custom 74 in violet. This pen really reminds me of Black Panther's suit with the purple and the violet and the black. You know, if, if Black Panther had to write a law or some kind of decree for Wakanda, this is the pen he would use. Absolutely. And yeah, I love the Black Panther movies. Recommend you check them out if you haven't already. I think Black Panther, the first one was like the highest grossing Marvel movie in terms of the standalone movies. It totally just like destroyed the box office. Um, but yeah, Black Panther movies were excellent, excellent. Um, great storyline and all that and an amazing cast and director as well. Um, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Um, passed away I think last year from cancer. He was way too young. Um, he's also been in several other very good movies. Um, so I recommend checking them out and checking out his career. So back to the fountain pen. Today I'm going to be doing a review of this beautiful Pilot Custom 74 fountain pen. Um, it's a beautiful Japanese pen. It is a nice violet color here. You can see it's a demonstrator as well. You can see the mechanism inside. See the ink that's in there. Today it's filled with Diatramentus Alexander Hamilton. Got a little picture of Sir Alexander Hamilton right there. It's a pretty cool bottle. It's a purple, purple pen, purple ink. You know how we do. Um, and yeah, so this is the ink. So this is, as I said, it's the Pilot Custom 74. This is a medium nib. Um, these pens are made in Japan. It has a 24 karat gold nib. You can see there, it's rhodium plated. And this is a medium nib. The nibs are pretty nice and big. It's got nice silver trim with a translucent purple body and cap. It's got the nice pilot engraving on the on the pin here. Now it is a cartridge converter filling mechanism. So this is the Pilot Cone 70 converter. You basically put the pen inside the ink and this is like a, a push button here. So you just push it and then you release it and it, it sucks the pen in, The sorry, and it sucks the ink in. Um, it's pretty cool. And you can just take this whole thing out um, to, for cleaning purposes. You can also put in uh, the Pilot proprietary cartridges in this pen. So it makes it easy. You got a lot of options of filling it with different inks. So in terms of price range, the MSRP is $200. You can find them on Goulet Pen's company website for $160. It is a screw cap, nice and easy. You can post it as well to make writing a little heavier on the back end. Some people like that. As I said, it is a demonstrator. So it's, it's, it's purple, but it's translucent. So you can really see everything going on in there. I don't know if you can see, there's a little, there's a little spacing, a little bit of air in there with the ink. Um, it's pretty much filled to the brim. It holds 1.23 milliliters of ink. So it's a pretty good amount. You're not really gonna run out that quickly. The nib does have that nice pilot engraving that you see on pilot nibs. Pretty nice looking. In terms of the weight and the size, so it is 22 grams in total. The body is 14 grams and the cap is eight grams. So it's a pretty heavy cap, I'd say. Um, but you know, just the pen itself is, is very lightweight. It's easy to hold, easy to write with, no issues there. So in terms of the length, we've got a handy dandy ruler here. This is a recommendation that came from one of my, one of my great friends, Mr. Shadeen, also known as the Hawk. He said, you know, when you're showing pens and when you're showing size comparisons, pop a ruler, 
pop a ruler in there so you can kind of get a better understanding. So yeah, this one is about five, a little bit more than five and a half inches long in total. Um, I think it's like 5.6 in terms of the actual specs. The body is about 4.9 inches. Um, yeah, just a little shy of the five inch mark. So it's not that big of a pen. It's pretty compact. So let's compare it to another Pilot Custom. So this is the Custom Heritage 92. I did a review on this one recently, so go check that one out. I'll put the link in the description. Um, they're very similar pens. Uh, you know, they have the same 14 karat gold nib. Um, a couple differences. So this one is actually a piston filler. Um, so you know, you can't you can't open the entire pen to put in a cartridge. You, know, you can't even open this. Um, it doesn't it doesn't open. So you can't put a cartridge in there. There's no converter in there. It's just a built-in piston. Um, you just turn this knob to fill the fill the ink. Um, in terms of price range, this one is also um, a little bit more expensive. Um, the Custom Heritage 92 is $275 MSRP, and it's retail. You know, you can get it for $220 on Goulet Pens. So you know, about a $60 price difference. Uh, I guess you know because you're getting that piston filler. Um, it is the same nib. Uh, this one is in a fine, and this one's a medium. So you know we're not comparing apples to apples in terms of the nib itself, um, but they're both 14 karat gold. Yeah. So in terms of the size differences, the 74 is a little bit longer. Um, it's 5.6 overall versus the Custom 92 is 5.4 inches overall which you know you're not really going to be able to tell any real difference when you're using it or holding it or anything like that um but you know as you can see it's just a little shorter on the end there and especially because this this is not filled that much so you know the piston is a little open here even you know when this was if this was closed obviously it'd be a little shorter but still not that big of a difference in terms of the weight um the only difference is two grams so again you're not really going to notice that when you're using it or holding it um the other difference is you can tell is that the finial and the cap here, it's flat. You know, it has a flat surface here on both sides, whereas the Custom 74, it's rounded. Um, you know, on both sides it's rounded. So, I, I mean, I prefer the, the sharper flat look. It just looks better in my opinion. The roundness on this one, I feel like it kind of takes away from the classiness of the pen, um, but that's just my opinion. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the specifications and the comparison. Um, now, as I said, this one is filled already with Diatrementis Alexander Hamilton. So let's do some writing. All right, let's do some writing. So this is the Pilot Custom 74 in violet. It's a medium nib filled with Diatrementis Alexander Hamilton. Let's see how it goes. It's a medium nib, so I'm expecting it to be pretty buttery smooth. But we shall see what happens. Yeah, I'm expecting it to be pretty buttery smooth. Um, but let's see what happens. Oh yeah, buttery smooth. The Black Panther is buttery smooth for sure. Yeah, you know, with a medium nib, I wasn't expecting anything less, um, and especially with this ink flowing so nicely out of the pen. Atramentous. I was about to write Benjamin Franklin, but it's actually Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Yeah, uh, as I expected, it's very buttery smooth with that medium nib. It's also pretty thick, a little bit thicker than what I like, um, but 
it is buttery buttery smooth it is definitely smoother than the custom 92 which is a fine nib but i love that pen anyway just because i think i'm getting i'm getting a little bit more used to fine nibs this is a pretty nice purple it's like a violet dark purple-ish i don't even know i don't even know what it is but it goes great in this violet pen beautiful ink beautiful pen dedicated to chadwick bozeman the black panther wakanda forever Yeah, it writes, it writes beautifully. It's very smooth, not much feedback. Um, the ink flows great. You know, it, 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 this ink does flow very, very well. Um, and this medium nib just keeps the flow going. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, most medium nibs do feel very smooth, at least from what I've tried and experienced. Um, but there is, of course, always an element of the range of smoothness. You know, you know, as I, as I say, some some pens are butter kings. This one is, um, yeah, it's probably close to a Butter King. Pretty much a Butter King, I'd say. It's very smooth, very buttery, very, very flowy. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a great pen. Um, as I said, it is about $160. So, um, you know, if you feel like getting a gold nib and paying $160, then you can go for it. This actually is my wife's pen, Courageous Creator. She purchased this one. Um, and uh that's it for this one hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button give it a nice thumbs up also please subscribe help my channel grow and i'll see you on the next video